Life is not about the container, but the content. Life is not about the container. It's not about how tall you are. It's not about who you think you are. What can you do? What if you want to maximize who you are in life? You don't tell stories of what has happened to you. You tell stories of what will I do to come out of what has happened to me. We are gathered here from all over Nigeria. We are seated, everybody by the side. We will listen everybody to the same speakers as you're listening to me right now. You will listen to everybody. But it is not everybody that the words will be effective in their lives. It is going to be effective for the person who listens and decides that the prophecies on his head will not go in vain. This is University of Nigeria and Soka. Several years ago, I came to this school as a student. Before I came to this school as a student, I was physically challenged at the age of three. And between the ages of three and ten, I was a beggar in my village. Everybody knew me. I was crawling on the floor for seven good years. I would hang something on my neck. I would go to the marketplace to beg. That was what I was doing for seven years. And for these seven years, all my age mates were already in school. I was despised. I was nobody. Until one day, I decided to go to school. And when I got to school, the headmaster made a mockery of me and said to my father, why did you bring this one here? What did he come here to do? He said to my father, he can't be a student. So take him back home. He can't be a student. And then I asked the man, what will I do? If you want to maximize who you are in life, you don't tell stories of what has happened to you. You tell stories of what will I do to come out of what has happened to me? That's the question. So I asked the man, what will I do? He said, go and learn how to walk. And for one year, I was learning how to walk with this stick. And I'll take a step and I will fall. Young people, listen to me. On the journey to success, you're going to fall several times. But when you fall, you're going to get right back on your legs. You're going to write an exam several times. But you won't give up until you pass that exam. You're going to go for interview several times. You're going to be rejected. But each time they reject you, you return. You're going to set up businesses several times. You're going to make mistakes. But a mistake does not define who you are. And so from primary school, working with a stick, I came to this University of Nigeria and Soka. And when I entered this school, life was a hell for me. No money to eat, nothing. And then, to make matters worse, I didn't have a leg to work with. I was telling my driver that brought me that I used to walk from six flats to Akintola Hostel with this stick in my hand. Why? Because I wanted to prove somebody wrong. I knew I might be physically challenged, but that is not who I am. I know that you might not be beautiful according to people's standards, but that's not who you are. I know you might not be as rich as others, but that's not who you are. I know that you might not come from the greatest of families. Young person, that's not who you are. So I came in here and then I had a terrible experience after I lost my dad. A lecturer, I went to ask him a question in the class. And this man said to me, bring the question to the class. I want everybody to gain from this question. So I came to the class and he said to me, come and stand in front of the class at the mass communication department at the faculty of arts here. So I stood in front of the class and this man looked at me and said, you asked me a question. I said, he said, let me ask you questions too. He said to me, when you were entering the university, where did you pass? I said, sir, I passed through the university gate. He said, when you were passing, who did you see? I was wondering, what was the need? I said, sir, I saw the transporters. The Okada people said, yes. Who else? I saw the security people. Yes. Who else? I saw those hawking. He said to me, think very well. Who else did you see? I said, sir, I saw those who were begging. He said, describe them for me. So I described them to him. I said some of them are blind, some of them are physically challenged. This lecturer pointed me in my face and said to me, that's where people like you stay at the gates. He said to me, pack your things, go to the gates, sit at the gates and beg. He said to me, you will never become anything. Your place is at the gates. He said to me, look around the class. Is there anybody with a stick in their hand? 
He said, back, listen to me, child of God. Young people, listen. Life is not about the container, but the content. Life is not about the container. It's not about how tall you are. It's not about who you think you are. What can you do? What is inside of you? What prophecy are you carrying? What dream are you carrying? Can I share to you? I left this school with a first class. Listen to me, young people. I left this school with a CGP of 4.86. Listen to me, young people. Today as I stand here, I have a PhD. I am a lecturer and I teach in two different schools. I have car that I drive on my own. I have family, I have a wife and children. Listen, child of God. Nobody is your classmate. You are your own. Nobody should influence you. Hey, young person, listen to me. You are not in competition with anybody. By the special grace of God, I have traveled around the world. The last time I got to UK, I got to London Heathrow Airport with the same stick in my hand. That's something for which they mock you. That's the same thing God will lay hand on and elevate you.